For the status on current scheduling method, you have two options. If we go to schedule and scheduling options, you can see both of them in here under status on current. We have retained logic and progress override. We're going to leave it in retained logic right now. You can see the way that this is originally scheduled. We have three activities in two groups, activity A, B, and C. These activities are all 10 days and linked finish to start. When one finishes, the next can begin. Sometimes though, once we get to updating the schedule, things don't happen the way we originally planned them. Here's the same activities that have been updated and happened out of sequence. You can see in this first group, activity A didn't finish before activity B started. What will happen with retained logic is the remainder of activity A is going to have to finish before the remainder of activity B can continue. And in group 2, activity B started and finished before activity A even got underway. In this example, since relationships under retained logic are still respected, activity A is now holding activity C out. This isn't very apparent from the relationship that's shown. But in Phoenix, we draw something we call the retained logic relationship. In the group two example, when we schedule, a purple line will appear to show this retained logic relationship. So you don't have to hunt down for what is holding activity C out. Also, in the predecessor and successor windows, this retained logic relationship will also appear. You can see in here that the grayed out relationship activity 50 was driving activity C, but now the predecessor driving activity C is activity 40 or activity A. If in this same update we change the scheduling method option to status on current progress override, let's see what happens with that. Again, we'll go up to schedule and scheduling options. Click the radio button for progress override. Click OK and then hit the schedule button. Progress override will essentially no longer respect those relationships between the activities that happened out of sequence. You can see activity C is now starting not after activity A, but back here at the data date, as early as it can. And same in the example of group 1. Activity B is no longer waiting for activity A to finish. It's all just getting done as soon as possible.